for L1 Leopard um, device uh, for updating the L1 RD service. Uh, find the link in the document we have shared, or you can uh, we, uh, you can go for the Google Play Store and you can install it from there. And to update the firmware, you need to connect through OTG and cable. For the OTG should be uh, V type. Uh, you need to connect from here from the first or second port and the via OTG you need to connect to the tab okay then you need to uh, then the pop-up message will come for leopard device you need to connect like this for falcon device you need to use mini cable which is given from the uh, evolute side okay the mini cable like this and you need to connect the mini cable from here okay from here you need to connect then you need to connect with the OTG through mo to mobile okay so you need to connect like this once you connect it the pop-up message will come for a falcon device it will be like this for identify device you need to connect via C type either micro type check whether it's a C type or micro type and connect via OTG and through to mobile okay so once you connect it you need to turn off the device for all the devices and you need to turn on the device okay once you connect after connecting the cable you need to turn off and turn on once you turn on the device it will blink here and the pop-up message will come here once you connect it with the cable and otg you need to turn off the device and turn it on okay so i'm turning on now so device is turned on and you will get a pop-up message you need to click on allow button here okay once you click on allow button idme application will open and you need to give the permissions and make sure version should be 1.1.3 after device sync and device check update all those things done you will get a new firmware update available so once you get this pop up you need to click on ok button so click on ok button and click on again ok button so once you click on ok button the firmware upgrade button will start and you will observe that FPS keep uh, blinking and you need to click on allow here okay okay so wait for the complete setup done so once the FPS lights off then you will get a message like firmware upgrade successful so wait for that and keep tapping uh, on the screen so that the screen should not turned off so now a firmware upgraded successfully the toast message came and the you will get a message of firmware upgrade successfully click on ok here ok so it will go for time sync and device status wait till that your device is ready to use ok then you can go, go and use with the bluetooth connections Thank you.